What's up guys? Rohan here and I'm here with Zah and I'm here with Zah and I'm here Indy run a Facebook page called Right of Us Their yeah, Facebook page basically shares uh, stories of riders who go on long journeys Basically it's like a platform for them to share uh, other stories of riders and experiences uh. The latest episode will talk about, you know, packing, uh, group planning uh, uh, Not by us uh, but other fellow riders You can okay, click on the link uh, on the Facebook page, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right of us. So, <laughs> answering to uh, Farhan's question. Actually, I prepared a list of questions for them. Sorry guys, I'm hungry. I've yeah. never seen this question. <laughs> okay, this is an informal interview, la, yeah. uh, inform informal talking session. Uh. For me and Zah are riders. And then uh -huh. we are actually going to May Hong Soon, this coming April, right Zah? Yes. Very good. Uh, on our very own bikes. May Hong Soon will be our first trip outside of Malaysia. <laughs> I and Zah have been riding together for quite a while lah but usually it's to Malaysia, to KL only lah hmm. Okay, we're gonna start with uh, the first question Just ask for the first question yeah. We are trying to get inspiration from both of them lah For what made you guys go on a road trip like this? Or many trips like this? We had prices Singapore is boring <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 I, actually I wanted to uh, see other culture people see, uh, you know, how they live and what sort of they eat and also the uh, scenery, the beauty of the uh, country scenery. Uh, that inspired me to uh, mm. go on. Like I said again, we all can fly for holiday, but it won't be the same. I, I chose to go over like, uh, That inspired me to keep going. And uh, the place we went is not done yet. There are more uh, we can see. The world is big. The world is big. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I basically want to be a better person. <laughs> Because wow. you see, this is not a conventional tourist where you take a plane and then you reach there, arrive there, you go to unpack tourist, tourist, <laughs> tourist uh, environment. <laughs> so the places that we go, uh, we can say that it's um, less explored, mm. but people are more natural, people yeah. are not to themselves. Mm. And then you see, from there you learn so many things. Not mm. uh, uh, we do a self reflection based on that. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. bring back a lot. And become, uh, besides exploring, yeah. Very, very inspirational, uh, uh, For you guys, right? Uh, because you're going very, very long distance, right? Was there any like preparation or planning? And then you guys really save money to fundraise or you went to the, to the country and then uh, work, work just a backpacker thing? Yeah, we only go over there, but it's pretty sick. Preparation is actually the most important part of traveling. Mm. So I always get excited when <laughs> preparation. You get tired, but. You, you learn about the roots, you do all the basic fundamentals before you eventually set you out. But it yes, of course, uh, there's a certain amount that you always need to put aside. That's where your proper planning comes in. You need to, to find out a lot on the cost, for example, water coffee, what the cost like, is that cost, uh, is a uh, me pay off. Under table money. <laughs> Very direct. So of course uh, we don't we we start from scratch as well. We we, we have to learn from those that have been there. Yeah. It's always to share the experience, learn from each other. So we don't start as ideas. Okay. We start from zero. We we all learn from uh, it's good, good thing that you and uh are doing this because ah. eventually you get the hang of it. It's very active, uh, yeah. you, you, you get a lot from it. You come back. Even high school, university will never teach everyone with this kind of skill. Uh, for me, going for a long ride is always the uh, general. I like to see places like everyone else, but I want to know more what I can see there. Yeah. But of course, you see more in the village. Mm. Because every country you go to the city, the same. But the villages is always awesome. So I, I try to like read more about the villages that I'm riding to. So it's also good to prepare yourself what to expect. Let's say that toilet that in laws, mm -hmm. oh, this uh, guess how the toilet <laughs> should be. Uh, I, I said okay. <laughs> I've never stayed in a uh, in China where there is no toilet. Toilet is open. open, open. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, some, some. I remember in China, like I was in Jing Hong, the door is movable. You know? Let's say they have 12 cubicle, but they only have six doors. So now you're inside there facing, right? Facing the wall, doing your thing. Suddenly someone take your door. Give me that, my door. <laughs> yeah. So you're lucky, mine don't have door yet. <laughs> so these are, these are the things that, you know, we start appreciating when we come back, right? Like we have proper water. We have proper switch. When we come back, we have good bed, pillow to sleep on. Yeah. So we start appreciating more when we, we travel hard. Like this. It's just different, lah. From going to a holiday, it's just different. So how did you, your loved ones, especially your family members, react to your decision to go on uh, this kind of adventure? I got a full support, no problem. You just gonna spend money on them. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> I have three kids. Uh, and a very supportive wife. So my wife, uh, I, I brought my wife to some, for example, 2016, I went for a 52 days trip. Uh-huh. Uh, so my wife was very supportive. She, when we were younger, she did follow me on trip, so she knows what I'm doing. Uh-huh. Uh, and I'm, I'm very grateful that, that my wife is the, the, the one that supports me most. I, I know in Singapore it's very hard for families to get the idea that Darling, you're going away on a motorcycle again But uh, yeah. you know, but if you spend a lot of time with your loved one before you leave, I think you'll be alright You've got to balance it Let's yeah. say you're going for a week, you, you, you spend, you go to challenge with them for one week yeah, that, That's what yeah. I thought too, you know but, yeah. Of course there must be balance yeah. uh, Recently, uh, last, last month, I, I took the whole family to Hong Kong mm-hmm. Look, different adventure. Uh, this is family adventure. So I, I try to I try to bring my family to those places that I've been to. Ah, uh, the okay. kids are complaining or opening. They're in the car and then they are not used. They're not used. <laughs> we talk a bit. Yeah. But again, from my observation, right in Singapore, is something new. There's only like I counted only like less than 15 people doing long distance riding. Uh, I can name a few like Yen, myself, Anjang, mm-hmm. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, yeah. Charlie. Um, and then uh, who else? Well, actually, there's, there's quite a bit. Uh, quite a bit, uh, but they are all low profile. But slowly, we, uh, you know, we are we 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 are approaching them. Bonpan, 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 Hai Bonpan. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm very fortunate that Metro and the Singapore guys do. Yeah, they are lovely ladies. Yeah. They are few like uh, Colin. Yeah, Colin. <laughs> but again. I think it's very important before you leave for a long trip, like Yen just says, spend time with the family. Bring them you know, to a nice seafood and then buy them diamond ring. And this is my wife. No. <laughs> okay, that diamond ring? No, no, no. <laughs> but my wife is very supportive. Very but yeah, do you like uh, call her like once a week? Your family? You I, will, I will update her every day. Where oh, well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, update is most important because they want to know are you safe or not. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, my, but my, I, 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 I preempt her like, if I do not update you. Yeah. Means like, somewhere Busy where it's yeah. connectivity is yeah. out of reach. So, what are the, some of the challenges that you encountered during your trips? <laughs> uh, I it's fresh in my mind. <laughs> the reaction you can see a lot in you. <laughs> I got one fresh in my mind currency. Make sure you have uh, at least minimum currency for that certain country that you're on. Uh-huh. Because when I was in Kyrgyzstan, I don't have your currency. I, because I thought US dollar can be used everywhere, right? Mm-hmm. So what happened was I went to the money changer. The money changer is only at the bank. This is in small town Narin. So the, the banker saw the US dollar is brand new. <laughs> it's still fresh in my memory, proper currency that you, you're going through that country. Because I thought US dollar can use everywhere, right? Yeah, but fine. I was wrong. In small town Narin, this time, I wanted to exchange my $100 note, brand new $100 note. They don't recognize that $100 note. They pull out an old $100 note, US, show me. This one, they thought mine was fake. So I was stuck with no money and then I tried to withdraw using my card three times. I, I forgot my PIN number and the card got cancelled. I have nothing else but that US dollar, is it? And happened that I met a friend, Japanese friend, Toshi, at that, that small hotel that we are on. And they said, don't worry, tonight dinner I'll pay and then I'll give you some currency. Thinking that I can change the US dollar tomorrow. So that was it. I, I think to, to me that was really hard 
imagine I was alone and then I don't have the currency. I got to back like not really hardcore lah, but yen one yen what's your hardcore? Yeah. <laughs> really, I'm different. Yeah, yeah. I'm always intrigued by border crossing. Border crossing. I hear a lot of stories as well. Yeah, I've crossed about almost fifty borders. Fifty borders. I've ever been rejected at borders. <laughs> I've ever been asked for money. I've ever been hold for uh, close to nine hours. At yeah. Borders. Oh, nine, oh, nine only for nine hours. Borders are very can be very intimidating for me, uh, as well as custom clearance. Custom clearance, like for example, Mumbai hold me for seven days. <laughs> uh, Colombia hold me for three days. That's good. I never <coughs> so, so when you come back, you uh, you become a better negotiator. <laughs> <laughs> you, so, you, you have to make your way through. Really, yeah, these are really the hidden challenges. Of course, there's many more, but yeah. when you're coming to a border, you a lot of things have to happen. Uh, do I have this? Do I have the paperwork ready? Uh, a lot of things. But so far, I'm very lucky with the border crossing. Yeah, uh, everything is good. Even without DIP, when I went into Thailand, they still let me out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe they look at me like, ah, this guy is in a terrible shape. <laughs> go, 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 we don't need your DIP. <laughs> <laughs> so name, name just one of your memorable trips you had so far. Uh, I guess mine was riding around Borneo. Borneo. By myself in an extreme heat. I almost died in the middle of nowhere in Kalimantan because I got heat exhaustion. The best part was I laid down my ground sheet. I took a selfie. I, I removed everything, you know. And then whatever water I have, I pour on me. I, I lie down there. Thinking that I will, I will never make it. <laughs> One guy came on a truck, a road construction worker, because I wasn't on the road, I was on a, on a trail, on the jungle trail. Shook me up. Yeah, that's, I think that guy saved my life. <laughs> yeah, he went away to bring water and then food back to me. Never do anything like this alone. <coughs> Always do with a partner. Yeah. Uh, mine, I would say, Central Asia was my most memorable. Wow, Central Asia. Central Asia, particularly uh, Wakan Valley. Ooh, we're riding very close to Afghanistan. I, I, I'm always uh, intrigued by Central Asia. I've always wanted to go to Central Asia. Well, no. <laughs> uh, when they said to then uh, okay. <laughs> okay. okay, that's right. That day, I remember we were riding along Afghanistan. The mileage was only 120 to the next. Hmm. Ah, very short, 120. Yeah, nice, nah. Took me 12 hours. <laughs> Took us 12 hours. 13 hours. 13 hours. 120 km. The road was terrible. Uh, a lot of drops. But the view was mesmerizing. Awesome. Uh, it's as rustic and original. We will slide some again. image later on. Pakistan was the other one. Oh, yeah. Pakistan because of the people. Do you feel like the mountain is like into your face yeah, when you're yeah, in Pakistan? Yeah, like, like, yeah, like yeah, Pakistan. It's like in front of your face. Yeah. Is it because it's very high? Yeah, it's, it's humongous. <laughs> you feel, I, I, I don't know about Yen, but to me, Pakistan. I feel like very small. Uh, when I was riding through the mountain, the, uh, oh, you feel, I felt belittled when I was facing the non Everest base camp. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I have a son of friends who keep staring, tears coming now. So it was. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh. They said, what they said, God created. But we humans going to destroy it. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Pakistan basically because of the people. One of the most hospitable I've come across. Yeah. I'm with them on that. Pakistan. A lot of people say, don't go Pakistan, it's dangerous, not true. You also hear many stories. Sorry, sorry uh, my Western friend, your media, a bit salah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I would say overall, Asia has a lot more. Masale, I'm not come to Asia. <laughs> <laughs> but but this, right? guy, this guy, I know, wanted to write America. It's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, but I think that so America is nice. My target is I try to cover as much as Asia uh, as before. Before I go. No, he will retire and then he go around the world with a wife. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I just saw the producer one more. One last So, as you know, me and Zah, we, we will be embarking on our trip to That's Thailand. Good. That's a good start. Our maiden, maiden trip. Our maiden, our maiden trip. Right? trip. Inshallah. <laughs> We started with maiden trips yeah. as well, so mm-hmm. nobody started with mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> So I really always tell people uh, we to start ask for advice. Yeah. I started as We start as a newbie. Yeah. Always look, I, I always look myself as a newbie because I want to learn. Mm-hmm. I mean, with Yev Bas experience, 
yeah. he don't he don't like really walk with that sort of like air, you know, like oh, hi. Maybe I didn't try yeah. hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, it's always good to learn by the other. Because why? Let's say I I, I make a mistake. I, I don't want the other rider to make the same mistake. So I will share my experience. Yeah, right, bus is a good right, bus. Uh, we will talk further about our experience. Yeah. Uh, episode five. Yes. Uh, will oh, be happening in two weeks. Yes. Yeah. Do check out. Do check out your Facebook page, yeah, guys. Right, yeah. bus. Yeah. Anyway, I want to thank uh, Ra and Yem for coming out here. Oh, thank you. So, give me advice to me and Ra. Uh, no advice, sharing. Uh, sharing yes. their trip, advice, and experiences with us. Uh. Mm. So, thanks for coming out. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you for the Kentucky. Thank you, Zah. Thank you. We have to finish. I'm uh, going to link their Facebook page below. You guys check them out. Huh? Anyway, thanks for viewing the vlog. And uh, we'll see you all in the next one.